This video will overview the basics of using a torque wrench. First, let's go over some important safety information. This torque wrench is rated for 20 to 150 foot-pounds torque. It is a one-half inch drive. This torque wrench has an accuracy of plus or minus 4%. Whenever using a torque wrench, it is a good idea to wear personal protective equipment such as gloves and safety goggles. Torque wrenches should not be used to loosen fasteners. They should be used within the rated torque range as specified by the manufacturer. They should not be used as a hammer or pry bar. In addition, extension bars or pipes should not be used in conjunction with a torque wrench to increase leverage. If a torque wrench is dropped, it needs to be examined and potentially recalibrated. Whenever a torque wrench is used, it should be examined to ensure that it is functioning correctly. A torque wrench should not be used by anyone not familiar with its proper use. Next, let's discuss the basic features of this torque wrench. This torque wrench is marked with foot pounds here. In addition, on the reverse side of the torque wrench, it is marked with Newton meters. Next, let's go over the basic parts of the torque wrench. First, this is the square drive. It is one half inch drive and it will need to be used with compatible one half inch sockets. In addition, this is the torque scale. This dial is turned to obtain the correct torque setting in between the larger values on the torque scale. I happen to have it on Newton meters currently. This is the knurled handle. At the bottom is the lock knob. This lock knob has to be tightened once the desired torque setting is reached. This fixes the torque value since the handle should not turn when the torque wrench is being used. This torque wrench can only measure torque during a clockwise operation. When using a torque wrench, once the click noise is heard, stop pulling and move on to the next task. This is a common mistake. It is important to always use the correct torque value for a particular application. Torque values can be obtained from the original equipment manufacturer service manuals or in appropriately approved repair or service manuals from a third party. It is important that sockets should be clean and are not slipping since dirty threads can result in misleading torque readings. Once the desired torque setting has been reached here at 35, then it's very important to tighten the lock knob at the bottom to ensure that it's tight. Now this does not move. No matter what I do, it doesn't move. Next, let's talk about putting away a torque wrench. Once one is finished using the torque wrench, it needs to be put away correctly. This is one of the most common mistakes with the use of a torque wrench. In particular, people often use the torque wrench and fail to loosen it. Therefore, after use, one should loosen the lock knob and rotate the handle to the lowest setting. Finally, the lock knob should be tightened as a last step. Failing to do so could result in damage to the calibration of the torque wrench. Finally, a torque wrench should be stored in a clean and dry location in its case. In addition, torque wrenches, while somewhat similar in appearance to breaker bars, should not be used as such, as previously discussed. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Thank you for watching.